The Maharashtra political turmoil is growing and all the camps are in a huddle chalking out their strategies. The Shiv Sena National Executive meeting is uh, underway and the Chief Minister has just read Sena Bhavan. Now sources say a proposal to remove Eknath Shinde may be brought in and during the meeting. The BJP has also planned a big meeting at 5.30pm today with all the party MPs, MLAs from Maharashtra as well as office bearers asked to be present. Now ahead of this meeting, the Devinder Fadnavis has met with ally Ramdas. Now the rebel group is also meeting shortly to discuss uh, legal options after Shiv Sena sought dis qualification of rebel MLAs. Now, Shinde Camp has also decided to name Deepak Kesarkar as their official spokesperson. Remember, Kesarkar used to be a close confidant of Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. Shinde has further written to Maharashtra Chief Minister blaming them of withdrawing security of family members of the 38 rebel MLAs. However, the Maharashtra Home Department has clarified that the allegations are baseless and security has not been withdrawn. ऐसे है कि कोई भी एमएलए या विधायक जो है इनकी को, किसी की भी सुरक्षा निकाली नहीं गई है ऐसे कोई आदेश होम डिपार्टमेंट ने दिए नहीं है ताकि होम डिपार्टमेंट ने ये निर्णय लिया है कि ये सारी परिस्थिति ध्यान में रखते हुए जो एमएलए हैं उनके फैमिली को सुरक्षित रखने के लिए अभी भी मौका नहीं गया है कल भी रात को शरद पवार साहब और अजीत पवार साहब जयंत राव पाटिल प्रफुल्ल पटेल सब मातुश्री पे आए थे उनके सामने उनके मौजूदगी में वहाँ से दस एम एल ए ने हमसे बात की है उनके मौजूदगी में अरे क्या बोल रहे हैं कौन किसके साथ है आइए आप महाराष्ट्र में फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस पर किसमें कितना दम है वो पता चलेगा और मैं बहुत ही जिम्मेदारी से और कॉन्फिडेंटली बोल रहा हूँ ये हवा की बात नहीं है I'll go, all right, going straight across to my colleague Ketan, who is joining us from outside Sena Bhavan. Ketan, what are we picking up from the meeting? I believe, is it still underway? Well, the meeting uh, still seems underway. A while ago, we saw uh, Shiv Sena Rajya Sabha MP Anil Desai uh, walk out. Uh, the reason was not exactly known. However, all the important, other important leaders, be it MPs, be it MLAs, be it uh, district heads of, of the party, they are all very much uh, entrenched here. They are very much here. And uh, uh, Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre is also here. Uh, so is his son Aditya Thakre. So, uh, and uh, senior leaders like Subhash Desai and Chandrakant Khere, they are all uh, here. So, uh, and we can see uh, the Shiv Sainiks are literally guarding this place like a fortress, shouting slogans. There is much anticipation in the air. Uh, there is much uh, uh, kind of nervous excitement in the air. Uh, but uh, one thing that I said that the party is trying to do is keep their flock intact. MLAs, whether they will come, they will uh, the rebel uh, the, the rebel group, uh, whether uh, it, it, it will divide or, or it will stay the way it is right now. Uh, despite Despite all this, uh, Uddhav Thakre knows that he still has the reins of the party in his hand and he wants to keep it intact in every possibility. Right. Ketan, we are also learning that the Mumbai police has imposed section 144. Uh, if you can hear me, Ketan. You're right. So uh, there are there have been uh, incidents of uh, violence and of uh, uh, the the rebel MLA's offices being attacked from. Yes, I can hear you. So there have been incidents of violence reported from Osmanabad. There have been incidents uh, happening in, in, in Kurla, in Sakinaka. Well, I, I sense some action here. Uh, oh, yeah. So you can see a lot of karikartas, a lot of Sena workers are, are moving inside. So the, the Section 144 is in the view of the fact that a lot of uh, sensitive emotions, uh, the, 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 the Shiv Seniks are really uh, 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 kind of... Uh, 
they, they are sensitive and and uh, uh, one uh, one cannot uh, say that what their next action would be uh, chief minister uddhav thakre yesterday made it clear made it a point that he doesn't uh, want any kind of uh, violence on the road uh, uh, but these are sentiments and as we spoke to different district heads they are really upset at the fact that these were the same mlas for whom uh, the shiv sainiks it's a cadre based party mind you so uh, all this uh, cadre the cadre the shiv sainiks the common workers worked uh, their sweat and toil and ensured that these mlas uh, uh, could win and right now they are all turned rebellious so this is something that has not gone uh, not gone well with the ground worker with the ground karyakarta and in the view of that not yet in the state not yet in maharashtra but uh, but in in the city of mumbai where the sena literally they say rules the street of uh, streets of the city so uh, there has been section 144 imposed right uh, ketan you know we we are seeing a lot of activity on ground but there's also a lot of activity on social media and now we are learning reports that there is going to be social media vigilance well uh, so social media uh, has this peculiar role of 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 sp spreading untruth and that can uh, that can upset any situation see one is of course we are in the business of information and so a wrong information or a wrong uh, thing can uh, a message can spread and can can uh, cause uh, a lot of harm a lot of wrong at the same time if a wrong message spreads among the karyakartas among these workers whose sentiments are running high then there can be a law and order problem so among the boxes uh, when it comes to maintaining the law and order in the city the police have to uh, click a uh, bandobast and ensuring uh, enough uh, uh, vigilance and gathering intelligence all this beyond this traditional boxes guarding the social media monitoring the social media ensuring that there are no rumors that are spread ensuring that there is no rumor mongering and there is there is no falsehoods uh, that are spread uh, about uh, this sensitive volatile and developing political situation this is a, a, a police duty and they want to do it well right ketan please can you to stay on with us we are getting some breaking news at this point in time all right the breaking news coming in the mumbai police is on alert amid the crisis the mumbai police has imposed section 144 The Mumbai police has said necessary act, uh, security arrangements will be made outside uh, polit politicians' residences and MPs, including MPs and MLAs. Social media vigilance will be there. Vigilance on political movements. No offensive posters or banners are allowed to be put up. And that is the latest that we are getting to you from Mumbai. The Mumbai police is on high alert amid the political turmoil in the state, and the Mumbai police has, in fact, imposed Section 144, and uh, necessary security arrangements are also being made outside politicians' residences, including MPs, MLAs. All right, there. Big uh, breaking news that's coming in at this point in time. Notices have been issued to 16 MLAs by the Deputy Speaker, and they have been asked to respond by Monday. The rebel MLAs have been asked to respond by Monday, and notices have been issued to 16 rebel MLAs. And uh, going back to my colleague Ketan, uh, Ketan, we are getting news that notices have, in fact, now been issued to the 16 rebel MLAs. absolutely so this is the next in the procedure whenever a party whip issues an order of disqualification and and that order uh, is is sent uh, to the speaker now uh, we uh, maharashtra vidhan sabha doesn't have a speaker so they have a deputy speaker in in narari jilwal so yesterday shiv sena's legal cell had approached Nar narari jilwal and on the first day it was a list of around 12 ml 
place, which increased later on yesterday to 16 MLAs. So this is a step that the Speaker has taken clearly, that they have been asked to respond. Uh, now, uh, uh, we, we don't have the details yet. The details are still sketchy. But uh, whether they have been asked to respond through an email or they have been asked to come in person, that is interesting because this is the first step uh, where the Speaker has responded. This is where the constitutional procedure has come in. This is where the legislative uh, intervention has come in. And this is where uh, the real uh, uh, next step, you can say, of, of this battle raging in Maharashtra has uh, started. So what's, what next? Well, the Speaker, uh, uh, in, in, in such a situation, uh, whenever it gets uh, 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 such a notice from the whip urging for disqualification of the MLA of, it, of its own party, then the, the MLAs are also given a chance to respond. So clearly, uh, a, a day after uh, they, they have received a, such an official notice from the uh, Shiv Sena party, uh, then uh, the, the speaker has issued this notice. It is a procedural matter, but in the light of uh, the storm in Maharashtra, in the light of what is happening, this should be taken seriously because they have been asked to respond by Monday. So st they still have a, a day. Uh, uh, as we gather more information, if this 16 disqualified MLAs, uh, if the speaker ask the MLAs to come in person, it means that the MLAs would need to leave Guwahati. So that is big. Otherwise, uh, Camp Shinde can approach the court. And if the court ha uh, intervenes in this, then there can be a further development. So this is uh, an important development. Till now, we were seeing grandstanding. Till now, we were seeing a development happening by political workers on the streets. Till now, we were seeing claims, counterclaims, and various reactions from politicians uh, and from, from Shiv Sena, uh, uh, basically politicians belonging or MLAs belonging or leaders belonging to the MVA fold as well as BJP. But right now, this is the first, you can say, legislative move uh, that the, uh, the Deputy Speaker Narayi Chirwal has asked uh, the MLAs to respond and has sent a notice to them about the disqualification. Right, Ketan, big uh, development there. Notices have in fact been issued to the 16 MLAs by the Deputy Speaker. Please continue to stay on with us. We are getting some more breaking news. And Eknath Shinde's meeting with MLAs has started at the Radisson Hotel in Guwahati in Assam. And that is the big breaking news that we are getting to you on this story. Eknath Shinde's meeting has started at the Radisson Hotel with the MLAs. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has reacted to Maharashtra rebel MLAs staying in a Guwahati hotel. Listen in. Guwahati ka hotel ka reservation mein band kar dunga kya. 